In this screencast, I'd like to take a look at the process of adding a slideshow to a collaborative space. And I've got a collaborative space here about weather. It's for students. And on this page, we have an image gallery with a couple of folders of photographs set up already. And in order to run a slideshow, you need to have uploaded images into an image gallery that supports your space so that the slideshow can display the photographs that are in those folders. So I'm going to add my slideshow here and I need to go down to the applications menu in the global navigation bar. So I'm on the actions menu, I'm going add applications and I'm going to start typing the word slideshow. Click on the add button and drag the slideshow across to the space where I would like it to be remove that applications menu and our slideshow says that we need to configure the portlet to make it visible to users so I need to go to the configuration button just here and click on that down to the configuration tool and that will bring up the window which allows us to set the slideshow. Now as we can see over here we have um, a folder hierarchy of the folders that are currently available in the image gallery there's a folder on clouds and a folder on floods. I'm going to choose the clouds folder. We know that it's been chosen because it changes colour, becomes orange. So I've chosen that, those photographs to be in my slideshow. I have one effect. I can have a fade effect so that it fades in between each um, photograph. I can either have that on or off as effects. This uh, two, these two boxes here tell us how large the photographs are going to display and the default setting is 250 pixels. And I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. So I'll make that uh, 350 just so that the photographs are a little bit larger so that the students can see the features of the clouds when they're identifying those. I'll save that. Um, I've got the tick message to say that it's been saved successfully. So I'll go to the right hand side and return to full page. And that slideshow should appear now on the page. So here's my uh, slideshow. And when I click on the play button down the bottom, the clouds photo should scroll through at reasonable intervals for students to have a look at them. So that's how you add a slideshow to your page. Now one thing that's probably useful to remember is that you don't need to have the image gallery visible to students on the page for the slideshow to run. So because uh, my image gallery has got a couple of folders in it and only one of those folders pertains to the information on this page, I'm actually going to click the X and remove the image gallery, but I'm only removing it from this page. So I'll say OK. And that image gallery is now in the background, but it's running this slideshow. OK.